Welcome to Biology at Ease. In this video, I'll be explaining Messelson and Stahl experiment. Matthew Messelson and Franklin Stahl in 1958 provided the experimental proof that DNA replication is semi-conservative in nature. So now let's see what is semi-conservative nature of DNA replication. Three models of DNA replication were proposed by different scientists. The conservative model, semi-conservative model and dispersive model of DNA replication. According to conservative model of DNA replication, one out of the two DNA molecules formed as a result of DNA replication consists of both the parental strands while the other DNA molecule consists of both newly synthesized strands. According to the semi-conservative model of DNA replication, both the strands of the parental DNA acts as a template strands to which a newly synthesized strand get attached leading to the formation of two different DNA molecules. The dispersive model of DNA replication says that during replication, the double helical structure of DNA is broken down into double stranded segments. And to these segments, the double stranded segments of a newly synthesized DNA gets attached, leading to the formation of two new DNA molecules. So this is all about the three models of DNA replication. Now let's come back to the experiment of Meselson and Stahl. Messelson and Stahl experimented with E. coli. They grew the E. coli in a medium containing NH4Cl in which N was N15 type which is a heavier isotope of nitrogen. This E. coli was allowed to grow for several generations. As a result, they found that N15 got incorporated in the nitrogen basis of the DNA of the E. coli bacteria. So both the strand were now N15 type. This E. coli bacteria containing N15 type nitrogen bases was then allowed to grow in NH4Cl where N was N14 type that is the normal isotope of nitrogen. E. coli bacteria divides in every 20 minutes. So after every 20 minutes, the nature of the strands of the DNA of E. coli bacteria was observed by these two scientists. One more thing, the DNA containing N15 type nitrogen bases can be easily distinguished from the normal DNA which has N14 type nitrogen base through a process called centrifugation. In centrifugation, the DNA which is heavier in nature settles at the bottom of the centrifugation tube whereas the lighter DNA lies at the top of the tube. So between N15 type DNA and N14 type DNA, N15 is heavier in nature. So the DNA with N15 isotope will lie at the bottom of the centrifugation tube while the N14 type DNA will lie at the top of the centrifugation tube. Now let's see the observation made by Messelson and Stahl. As we have discussed that the N15 type DNA was allowed to replicate in a medium containing NH4Cl where N was N14 type. So this DNA was allowed to complete one cell cycle that is after 20 minutes the formation of two DNA molecules was observed. These two DNA molecules were then again allowed to replicate for the next 20 minutes that is a total of 40 minutes and they observed the formation of 4 DNA molecules. The nature of the strands of all these DNA molecules was studied using the centrifugation process. In the centrifugation the gradient used was cesium chloride. Now let's see the results of centrifugation. The DNA after growing in NH4Cl medium where N was N15 type was allowed to centrifuge in a centrifugation tube containing CSCl as the density gradient and it was found that the DNA settled at the bottom of the centrifugation tube which means that this DNA was a heavy DNA that is the DNA containing N15 isotope. Now this DNA molecule containing E. coli bacteria was allowed to replicate. Since E. coli takes 20 minutes to complete its first replication cycle, so after 20 minutes the formation of two DNA molecules were observed. These DNA strands were extracted from the E. coli cell and were observed in the centrifugation tube and it was found that a band was formed in the intermediate region which means that this time two hybrid molecules were formed. One containing N15 type isotope 
and the other strand containing N14 type isotope. Then this DNA molecule containing E. coli bacteria was again subjected to a second round of replication. So after next 20 minutes that is a total of 40 minutes the four DNA molecules formed were observed and in the centrifugation tube it was found that two bands were formed. One band was formed at the intermediate region which means out of the four DNA molecules two DNA molecules consisted of strands in which one strand was of parental type while the other strand was newly synthesized strand. The second band was formed at the top of the centrifugation tube meaning this DNA was a light DNA and it was a N14 type isotope containing DNA. Now let's quickly summarize the process. This is an N15 containing DNA which means it is a heavy DNA molecule. When this DNA molecule was allowed to replicate after 20 minutes in the centrifugation tube it was found that the band was formed at the intermediate region which means that in both the DNA molecules one strand was parental type whereas the other strand was a newly synthesized strand. When these two DNA molecules were again allowed to replicate in centrifugation tube formation of two bands occurred. First band was at the intermediate region while the second band was at the top of the centrifugation tube. Now let's see how the two bands were formed in that centrifugation tube. For this DNA molecule during the replication process the two strands will separate and act as a template strand. So this is the first strand and this is the second strand of the parental DNA. Now a newly synthesized DNA strand will get attached to both the strands leading to the formation of two new DNA molecules. For this second DNA molecule replication process will cause the separation of two strands. So this is your first strand and this is the second strand. Now newly synthesized strand will get attached to both the DNA strands leading to the formation of two new DNA molecules. So it can be easily seen that the two DNA molecules formed out of these four DNA molecules, two were completely N14 type DNA, while the other two were hybrid DNA consisting of one N14 type strand and one N15 type strand. And this is why two bands were formed in the centrifugation tube because two DNA molecules out of the four DNA molecules were completely lighter DNA containing N14 type isotope. Therefore, this band formation occurred while the two DNA molecules were hybrid DNA molecules and that is why a band was formed at the intermediate region. So this experiment proves the semi-conservative nature of DNA molecule which means that during DNA replication both the strands of DNA serves as a template strand to which a newly synthesized strand gets attached. So I hope you are clear with the content. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.